Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira work management tutorial, we are going to understand a little bit about the project that we have created and we'll navigate through some of the key links and sections of the project. So we have took the template for the recruitment, but there are so many other templates. So basically, if you require Jira work management for any other department of your organization you can go ahead and create project which fulfills that particular department's requirements say for example sales or marketing right so you can simply go to projects and you can click on create projects and depending on which particular department you want to create for so you can either simply go to the products jira work management it will filter out all the templates project templates which are only specific to jira work management and choose the template say for example this is what i created last time now if you want to create a project for the procurement you select that particular template use the template and create the project for the procurement okay so creating a project is absolutely fine the only difference is within the projects among the department will be the workflow or it will have certain specific features for that particular department right but overall on this particular screen or after the project is created you will find similar structure like the boards you will have a left navigation bar where you will have the board the calendar timeline etc okay so let's see this is the recruitment project and let's create another project and see what will be the difference on this particular main page after we create other project type okay so let's quickly go and create a project and this time what i'll do is i'll in jira work management let me create a project for procurement all right so you can see the workflow that procurement uses it is a bit different right it's not same so it has been customized to cater for the needs of the procurement process and it is recommended for procurement teams or the operations team and the product is Jira work management and the issue type here is the order right because when in procurement process you order this stuff right so that's what the issue type is in the other project it was a different issue type which was the candidate because it was the recruitment process so we'll use this template let's say create a name I'll say RCV procurement and keys automatically here in the teams because we know that this is for the procurement or the operations right so we can simply say operations here uh, in the drop down and select create right so once i'll click on create it will create a new project which is the procurement rcv procurement project right now on this page if you see the difference it is almost similar in terms of the navigation in the in the left hand side the difference is around the workflow that you see here the board basically because it uses a different workflow which is relevant for the procurement process but in the hiring process the workflow will be different right because hiring process will follow a different set of process to start the issue from um, to complete the issue from start to finish right so this is the only difference now on this particular project if we go ahead and quickly look up around so basically list if you go to the summary right so if we say summary this is where it will give you the summary of the project right so you we don't have any issue in this particular project so that's why it is uh, it is giving you the recommendation to create the first issue in the list you will get the issue list so whatever issues are there in this particular project will be listed here and it will list a lot many details in the tabular format here and you can customize this table accordingly right so if we click on this plus you can select and deselect the values uh, that you want to make visible on this particular list and you want to deselect if so for example i do not want reporter here i'll just uncheck that and the reporter column will go away right so this is how the list will appear in the board you will see the actual work process the workflow that is being used for this particular project right so procurement has the workflow which is requested in review approved purchased and rejected so that's what you will see in the procurement project 
if I go to the candidate project, which is the recruitment project, then in that particular case, you will see the board is having different columns there because the process in the recruitment process is different, right? So that's what the board will show. In the calendar, it will show you the details of the calendar. So basically, if say, for example, you have the list of work items that, that have a due date, so in the calendar view, you will see clearly what due items are there on a particular date of the particular month, right? So that's the, that's very good feature of this particular uh, project that on the calendar, you can easily view how things are progressing and what is due in next day or today. So you can basically focus on that particular item. So in the timeline, you will notice the timeline or the time of the issues that are there so for example if there are certain issues that are due on a particular date so similar to calendar basically in the calendar view you will see the due date of the issues on a particular date of a month in the timeline it will show those those details in a visual timeline matter and we'll we'll see all of that when we go ahead and create the issues if you have worked on Jira software it's similar to the roadmaps that you see in the Jira software. It will give you a clear picture of how the work is progressing, what is the due date, when the work needs to start and when it needs to finish, right? Very, very helpful. Then we'll cover forms in detail. So we'll create the forms and we'll cover that as a separate topic. So here you can create the form, you can preview and you can list it. Um, then you have the issues. So basically when you go to issues, you can search for the issues quickly, either with the basic search or the advanced search, which is JQL. And this is just about searching the issues in this particular project or in any other project. So this is basically how you filter issues in Jira. If you go back, we have the report. So there are reports available for the business projects as well. And there are certain relevant reports that are available there. So we have issue analysis, reports and then forecast and management and other reports and these reports change depending on the type of project that you have and relevance of these reports for that particular project right so once we cover the report so we have this business um, project basics if you go to this particular link it will give you the details of the how the jira work management cloud works you can go through all of these tutorials if you want to but if not, this is pretty self-explanatory and I'll be covering most of the content anyways as part of this Jira work management tutorial series. Then you can add another link, another item here, which is basically the shortcut. If you want to add certain link of the website or any confluence page, you can go ahead and add it here, right? You can provide the web address and the name and click on add and that link will be added here as an item. Then in the project settings, which is the advanced settings, which we'll cover as part of separate tutorial again, wherein you can customize the details or the screens or what fields you see on this particular, uh, in this particular project, when you create issues that all can be customized in the project settings. And you need to be admin for getting the project settings detail, right? So this needs to be, you need to be project admin to configure the project details for a particular project. So this is all about this particular menu at the top you will see the your work wherein you will get if you drop down you will see the recent and the boards which will show you all of your work in the project it will show you all the projects that are available there and if you are a member you can access those projects filters is again the filter or how you find the issues similar to what we have seen the issues here right so it's the same thing. If you click on issues or you click on filters, it will open the search screen wherein you can search by the basic or the advanced search. So you can either click on advanced uh, issue search. So if I click on advanced issue search, it will open this JQL, right? So you can see that it has directly switched to the Jira software because I have switched to the advanced issue search and because my business project is also part of this whole instance. So I can search for any issue that is part of this particular instance, right? So let's go to the business project, which is recruitment project. And 
this this is you know like a global level filter but in the issues if you go this is more of a project sort of filter right so you'll see that this is more of a project filter if you go to filters at the top it is more of a global filter which will filter your overall jira instance in the dashboard this is sort of a global dashboard you can create a specific dashboard for this project and which will be applicable only for this project in the people you can create your own team add the members of the team and have the team in the apps you can explore the atlassian marketplace and there are many good apps for your business teams that if you want additional functionality for your teams you can go to the apps and install the apps from the atlassian marketplace there are free apps paid apps all of that is possible from the atlassian marketplace all right in the right hand side you will see that you have the settings these are the global settings or the administrator jira administration uh, administration settings so if you have administrator access you will see this cog wheel otherwise this will be disabled right here this is the notification if you are assigned something or you are mentioned somewhere then you will get notifications here this is more of a help and here you can change your profile and display settings right now these are all of the concepts that I have covered in my Jira tutorial anyways but I'm covering these because considering that this is the basic series for the business users I just want to cover all the aspects of any new person who is trying to use Jira in the business team so that they are comfortable even if they are very new do not know anything about Jira they can understand and know how to use Jira for the business teams and what value Jira can bring to their business team and it will be really helpful if you just follow along and see the power that it can bring and the streamlining of the process that can happen when you use Jira for business effectively. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.